In this week we have not only done a recap of what we have learnt in the previous weeks, but we have also seen some expert practices. We have seen how experts tend to spend a lot of time in the initial phases of design such as understanding the problem, creating models, checking whether these models make sense in different scenarios before actually going on to create the solution. Similarly through this course we have presented you with the various steps and processes that you could do before you actually implement a software. This is the process of software conceptual design.